Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about how to make um, HTV layered um, patch of sorts to go onto a garment, a shirt or such. I've done something similar to this with athletic letters, um, the athletic patches um, where you just do one letter at a time. Um, so this is just doing something very similar but with cursive font. Um, so this is how I set it up in So What Pro. I just kind of put the letters together and I did it side to side because I really wanted to try and make one big enough to fit on my sweatshirt. So I didn't put the border around. Um, but I can show you real quick how to add a border um, so you just go into your borders right here if you're in sew up pro and then um, auto border and distance um, it just really depends um, how close you want it how far you want it so then you would just add a border it adds a border um, obviously I'm off of my hoop so I did not add the border um, but this makes it easier to where it gives you a space to cut, a guideline to cut at the end. Um, because it was going to be, um, such a simple design and a bean stitch, I just joined all of my threads together to make it a super fast stitch out. And, um, let me show you how I'm going to stitch this out. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the hoop. I have my piece of glitter HTV on the bottom and a piece of terry cloth. This is just a hand towel on the top and I have them pinned separately in the hoop and on top of each other. Since this design is going from basically hoop to hoop, it's I've taken up almost my whole hoop. I did leave extra on the end for the overlap. Let's go put it on the machine. Okay, here I am at the machine, and I have my design pulled up on the machine. Um, I did put a piece of the um, stable, the solvy on top so that the threads don't go down. Um, on this design, since it's just a bean stitch finish, um, I just combined all mine, and I'm going to let it stitch out all the way together, and then... I'll trim it off and then I'll show you how I trim the HTV and all that. So let me stitch it out. Okay, here we are off of the machine and this is what my design looks like. I'm going to um, now take this and trim back all of the terry cloth so that it is layered on top of the heat transfer vinyl and just trim it like you would an applique. Um, since this is terry cloth and it's only a bean stitch, I am going to use some um, fray free around the edges because um, it's not secured or it'll fray pretty easily. So um, I'm going to go trim it and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I trimmed off all the pieces and then I put the fray free, the fray block or whatever that stuff was called. And so um, basically what I did is I took my tape measure and I measured out about half an inch from the parts and I just connected them so that, that it had like a little bubble. Um, if you want to do this in your program, um, in my other video about how to do this with the uh, athletic letters, it'll show you on that how to um, stitch out a line that you can easily cut. I didn't on this one because um, I was using the whole hoop because I needed this to be as big as possible. So this is how I did it. I just um, kind of traced out and then I'm going to go right on the inside of that red line and trim it off and then I'll show you what we're dealing with. Okay, here's what it looks like after it's been trimmed. As you can see, it just leaves a um, nice cute little border um, on the back. 
it's best to use tear away stabilizer when you're doing this but um somehow i spaced and did cut away so i'm going to, i trimmed off the outer edge now i need to trim off the inside but i would recommend trimming it all off before um pressing it so now it is ready to press um you can just do that with your regular heat press um I don't recommend you doing an iron with this if you're going to sell or whatever, but if you're doing it for personal, then um, you do you. But um, I'm actually not going to press this, so I won't show you the end of this because it actually turned out smaller than what I needed it to for this shirt. So I'm going to make a um, two-part one to go on here. Um, if you want to refer back to my um, video where I did the athletic letters in this same manner. It'll show you how to do the border around to trim um, off. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please um, don't hesitate to um, ask me in the comments. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.